Picture yourself in the vibrant tumult of 1967, a year brimming with cultural revolutions, far-out fashions, and the wild heartbeat of a nation in transition. Television screens across the land were about to be graced by a show that would turn conventional entertainment on its head. It was Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a groundbreaking spectacle that shattered the boundaries of comedy and left audiences in stitches. Your first encounter with this mesmerizing blend of absurdity and wit might have been like discovering a hidden treasure. The sheer audacity of it all, the quick-witted jesters who flickered across the screen, and the dizzying pace at which jokes and gags unraveled. It was a kaleidoscope of laughter, chaos, and pure, unadulterated entertainment. As you watched, you couldn't help but be drawn into a world where satire, satire, and unfiltered hilarity ruled the airwaves. In the years that followed, memories of iconic catchphrases like socket to me, or the unforgettable parade of celebrity guest stars might still resonate with you. Those moments, etched in the annals of television history, continue to elicit a chuckle or a fond smile even today. But let's dig a little deeper, shall we? There are fascinating nuggets about Rowan and Martin's laugh and that deserve their moment in the spotlight. So, journey with me through the looking glass as we explore the random facts and behind-the-scenes gems of this groundbreaking series. Get ready for a roller coaster ride of revelations. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a groundbreaking TV series that aired from 1967 to 1973, emerged as a vibrant cultural phenomenon during the late 1960s. The show was created by Dan Rowan and Dick Martin, featuring a rapid-fire, sketch comedy format that became an emblem of the era. Known for its witty humor and satirical take on social and political issues, Laugh-In introduced iconic characters like Socket to Me and the Farkle family, who delivered zany catchphrases and surreal sketches. The show's unique style incorporated rapid transitions, risk humor, and an ensemble cast, including Goldie Hawn and Lily Tomlin. Its influence on popular culture was profound, as it tapped into the counterculture spirit of the time and reshaped the comedy landscape for generations to come, inspiring future sketch comedies and comedians. Rowan and Martin's laugh and remains a testament to the cultural zeitgeist of the 1960s. In the 2017 Time Life DVD box set of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, the complete series is presented sans the advertising plates originally inserted during broadcast. Notably, this means that when Gary Owens utters, this episode is brought to you by. The camera lingers on him, frozen in his pose for the allotted time. Oddly fitting, considering the show's wacky and eccentric nature. In the realm of catchphrases, beautiful downtown Burbank traces its roots to Gary Owens around 1961. Owens coined it as one of several descriptors for his radio show's weather reports. The phrase later found its way into Laugh-In, becoming a notable element of the show's quirky charm. In 2017, Time Life commemorated the 50th anniversary of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In with a comprehensive box set. This collection includes all six seasons, accompanied by bonus materials, offering fans a nostalgic dive into the groundbreaking series. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a cultural phenomenon of 1967 TV, continues to captivate audiences. Whether frozen poses or quirky catchphrases, the show's legacy endures, immortalized in the 2017 Time Life box set, a testament to its enduring appeal. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, the unaired season, and a famous catchphrase Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a groundbreaking comedy show that aired from 1968 to 1973, left an indelible mark on television history. Known for its rapid-fire sketches and irreverent humor, the show was a cultural phenomenon. However, its journey didn't end with its initial run. In 1977, an attempt was made to revive the series, featuring new episodes with comedic legend Robin Williams and other co-stars. Despite the star power, the revival didn't gain traction and was quickly shelved. It wasn't until the summer of 1979 that the show resurfaced, capitalizing on William's newfound fame from Mork and Mindy. However, the revival failed to recapture the magic of the original series and faded into obscurity. A significant twist in the show's history occurred when George Schlatter, the original producer, did not oversee the final season. In a subsequent court battle, Schlatter secured the rights to those episodes but took an unusual stance. For years, he withheld the final season from re-airing and prohibited any clips from being included in retrospectives. 
This created an air of mystery around the unaired season. The standoff ended on March 13, 2017, when Decades TV gained the rights to broadcast the elusive final season. This move allowed audiences to finally witness the episodes that had been kept under wraps for decades, offering a unique glimpse into the show's evolution. Adding to the show's legacy is the famous one-liner, Sock It To Me. The catchphrase became synonymous with Laugh-In, achieving iconic status. In TV Guide's list of TV's 20 top catchphrases, Sock It To Me secured the 10th spot, a testament to the enduring impact of the show's quick-witted humor. In the world of television, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In remains a pivotal moment in comedic history. From its attempted revival with Robin Williams to the legal battles over unaired episodes, the show's journey is as fascinating as the laughs it delivered. As Socket to Me echoes in the annals of catchphrase history, laugh and continues to be remembered for its irreverence and cultural significance. The unveiling of Laugh-In, behind the scenes, and off the air in 1967. The uproarious sketch comedy show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In took the television scene by storm with its rapid-fire humor and irreverent take on the social and political happenings of the time. One notable aspect of the show's end was the explanation that they had exhausted their parody reservoir. When the curtains closed, it was not due to faltering ratings or creative burnout. Rather, the decision stemmed from a declaration that they had run out of things to lampoon. This unique rationale left fans pondering whether the show's comedic genius had indeed tapped out or if there were other factors at play. A significant chapter in Laugh-In's history unfolded when a young, then unknown duo from Toronto, Lorne Michaels, and Hart Pomerantz joined the writing staff in 1968. As the show transitioned into a regular series, Michaels and Pomerantz found themselves disenchanted after just one season. Their departure was attributed to a perceived lack of fair compensation for the material they provided to the cast. Although they left the laugh and scene, their story didn't end there. In the early 1970s, the pair gained fame in Canada with the Heart and Lorne Terrific Hour on CBC, only to part ways after creative differences arose. Perhaps one of the most intriguing tidbits about Laugh and Lies in its estimated production timeline. If the show were a motion picture instead of a weekly TV series, the 234-page script, filmed over two days, would take a staggering four months to shoot. This fast-paced, whirlwind production process added an extra layer of complexity to the already dynamic and groundbreaking nature of the show. As we revisit the iconic laugh in, these backstage revelations provide a glimpse into the intricacies that fueled its success and eventual closure. Whether it was the alleged depletion of parody ideas, the discontent of brilliant minds like Michaels and Pomerantz, or the logistical challenges of its rapid production, Laugh-In remains a captivating enigma in the annals of television history. As we bid adieu to the vibrant tapestry of guffaws that is Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, Let's take a moment to stroll down the memory lane of timeless laughter. This 1967 TV series, a kaleidoscope of wit and whimsy, wove itself into the fabric of our cultural consciousness. The quick-witted repartees, the zany sketches, and the iconic moments, they all echo through the corridors of time. But now, dear friend, it's your turn. What memories of laugh and dance in the ballroom of your mind? Was it the irreverent humor, the groundbreaking social commentary, or perhaps the sheer audacity of the gags that left an indelible mark on your laughter-loving soul. We invite you to share your favorite anecdotes, the scenes that linger like the sweet aftertaste of a perfectly crafted punchline. Let's build a virtual mosaic of laughter, a collective celebration of the joyous chaos that was Rowan and Martin's laughing. Your thoughts are the brushstrokes that complete this masterpiece. As we part ways, let gratitude be our parting emotion. Thank you for sharing this laughter-filled journey, for allowing the spirit of comedy to bridge the gaps between then and now. Your connection to laugh in is the living heartbeat of its legacy. Until we meet again to revel in the timeless mirth, thank you for your time and your unwavering interest in the comedy that transcends generations. Here's to the laughs that connect us all.